Uh, all right, listen, so as I mentioned in the email, all right, uh, we're doing some coaching education for the rest of the coaches in our club, all right? So uh, we might be doing a session tonight, maybe tomorrow, maybe next week. Uh, Andrew's going to be doing sessions as well. Uh, but we're trying to just create some uh, video contacts for other coaches, all right? So don't be nervous. We bring them, we bring the cameras here because we know that you guys are the best, so we get to demonstrate the best, right? So uh, just focus on yourself, play your games, all right? We're going to play a lot of games that are very familiar to you, all right? Um, so it's, again, just good attitude to good energy, making sure you're a good teammate, all right, and just try to demonstrate uh, the 1v1 focus tonight as best as possible. Sound good? Yeah. Uh, we're going to put you into two separate groups to start, all right, we're going to start with a little technical warm-up, all right? The focus, though, is going to be on changing speed, changing direction, and then throwing in misdirection slash faint, right? So why would we ever use a misdirection or a faint in a game? To pretend that you're going one way and then swerve and go the other way. Right. So we can do it to shield the ball away from another teammate, uh, another player, right? We can also use it to beat someone 1v1. So in a 1v1 scenario, though, what would be the most positive outcome in a 1v1? Would it be to shield or to go by someone? To go by someone. To go by someone. So that's going to be the focus this tonight, right? So we're going to do some small-sided technical work here uh, with some 1v1s going to gates, okay? Uh, then we're going to open up, we're going to do some rondos with a 1v1 focus in there, right? We worked on last week, okay? Um, then we're going to go into a, like a bigger expanding game to net. And then hopefully towards the end, we can open up and scrimmage and highlight 1v1s going to net in a real game. Sound good? To begin our training, we look to provide some technical reinforcement where players focus on the 1v1 attacking principles of the session. These include change of direction, change of speed, and also utilizing a feint or a misdirection. Girls are gonna go fake right and go to the left. You girls are gonna fake left and go to your right. So we're gonna go here. Any 1v1 move you want here, okay? And any change of direction or change of pace move here. Again, 1v1 here, change of direction here. Boom, and the last one would take us towards our defender. So now Emmy comes on out, defends me. Obviously, I'm very good, so I beat Emmy up, and I try to dribble through the gate. Okay, you can go to either gate. So again, this group over here is faking right and going out to the left. This group over here is faking left and going out to the right. Okay, next player in line goes when the first player reaches that far cone there. Okay, after you attack, you become the defender. Emmy, you get the ball, you come to the end of the line. Are we good? Lily, good? I answer your question. It's amazing how that happens. Are you ready? And play. Good. Good. Slow, fast. Nice job, Campbell. Very well done. Slow, fast. Good. It's okay. Molly back in. Molly back in. Good job, Hannah. Show me now. Slow, fast. Very well done, Hannah. Great work. When we attack, okay, is it always going to be a 1v1 in a game? No. So we have to go with speed, right? So when we turn around that orange cone, we're going 1v1 against the defender. Let's try to go at speed, okay? If you don't, if you don't go at speed or you take too long, just let your ball go. Defender takes it, goes to the end of the line, all right? Let's try to score goals a little bit quicker, yeah? Okay. Second thing, when we are changing up our speed, changing up our direction, okay? Does that mean fast to slow or slow to fast? Slow to fast. Slow to fast, all right? So we have to be under control of our bodies. Slow, fast, make your moves, and try to change up your speed, change up your growth, yeah? Okay. Let's do the same thing. Back to your grids, and we're going to see which team, which play. Nicely done, Shannon. Good feet, Allison. Well done. Show me, Hannah. Great stuff, Hannah. Well done. Fast. Good. It's okay. Molly back in. Molly back in. Good job, Hannah. Show me now. Slow, fast. Very well done, Hannah. Great work. Leave your balls. You guys are now going to switch sides, but you're going to come in here real quick so we can chat. Okay, so now this group is now gonna go to this side and you're gonna work on your moves from left to right, right? When we fake out to the left, drive out to the right. Girls that are now coming over here, you're gonna fake to the right and drive out to the left, okay? A few things. When we're dribbling, body over the ball, right? Small little touches, right? It's a very small area that you guys are working with, so we gotta keep some smaller touches on the ball, right? Secondly, as we turn and we're starting to go at the defender 1v1, okay? <laughs> By moving the ball side to side, you're really not moving the defender side to side, right? But by misdirection and taking steps and fainting left, right, left, right, now what should I be evaluating as I dribble? If I'm a very good player, what am I evaluating? The defender's what? Feet. So if I'm going against Haley, 
Haley's right there. And I take a lunge this way, and I'm good enough to get my eyes up, and I see her going this way. And then I take another step this way, and she starts going this way. I start to recognize the space on either side of her body, and I try to tap it. Okay? So let's see if we can get our heads up as we're dribbling, throw in more misdirections, and try to attack that space. Yes? And Liz, slow to fast. Slow, fast. Great stuff. Very well done, Liz. Good. Yep, one me one, Cam. Slow to fast. Campbell, very well done. Quinn, you defending now? Good. Slow to fast, Kira. Ah, well done, you two. Our second progression will now focus on solely 1v1 scenarios within a tight area. Players will be guided towards having a good first touch, attacking the defender in the middle of the grid, and utilizing a feint and change of speed to beat them to one of the two gates. We're going to put you into four different groups, okay? We're going to still focus on the 1v1, all right? But now it's a 1v1 battle where if the defender wins the ball, they can now score a goal, all right? So, uh, we've done this game plenty of times. We play a ball in diagonally, and we attack the gates that are directly across the gates, right? So, same focus, though. Let's take a good first positive first touch. Let's see if we can get directly at the defender. Use our feints and misdirections to take them one way and attack the space on either side of the ball. Yeah? Okay? Um, start your move early. And also, one thing that I noticed here was Campbell's here, right? She's dribbling with the ball. Can she be explosive when she's tall like this and her legs are spread out like this? Spread out is why she's Okay. Can you sprint from there? Very tough to do, right? How would you sprint? If I asked you to sprint, how would you start sprinting? Like that. Nice and low. Your feet are closer together, right? So you have more power to push off. Same thing when you're doing 1v1. You take long strides to go this way to fake one way. Long strides to go this way. Even if the defender moves, am I in any place to be explosive? No, right? So we want to keep that body underneath our body, the ball underneath our body. Short little steps left and right. And then we can be explosive from that low center of gravity. Okay? Get right at her. Great stuff, Hannah. Well done, Kira. Way to stay with her. Well done, hey. Bye. Few things. It's going to be a little bit repetitive from what we just talked about, so please pay attention. A, for the standard of the drill, if Quinn is inside the grid, to receive here, and Molly's inside the grid and passes the ball from here, I have no space to work with, right? So make sure we're doing the drill correctly. Molly drops back outside the grid. I'm receiving outside the grid, and now we have enough space, okay? That's first thing. Second thing, how many of us, by a show of hands, are taking our first touch to the right or first touch to the left? Okay, it's okay if you didn't mean to do it, but when we purposely take a touch to the outside to then shield, I'm giving the advantage to the defender, right? As the attackers, we want to have the advantage. So, Molly, just roll the ball to me and then come out a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take a good first touch. I'm going to get onto Molly, right, and head directly at her. With hopes that she goes back on her heels. Now I have the advantage, right? So I'm driving at Molly, she's backing up, she's backing up. And then all it takes is I'm not moving the ball side to side. It takes fake here, fake here, or maybe just one fake and be explosive to drive up, okay? Some of us right now are trying to manipulate the ball and shield. Let's try to be a little bit more direct. First touch right at the defender. Start your move early and try to use your speed from slow to fast to go out, okay? Keep going and we'll keep adding to our score. Play. Play. Kira, well done. Start it early and you're good. Hannah, it's the best one. Well done, good job, kid. Keep adding to your scores. We got one more minute. Haley, very well done. Beat her now. Great stuff, kid. Ava, way to stay with her. Slow to fast. Go ahead, last 30 seconds. Hannah, that's fantastic. Well done. Okay, you're good, you're good. Well done, Ray. Allison, well done. Good. Good job, Quinn. Way to keep that ball into your body. Hold on. Last. Our third progression of our session is a 4v1 rondo. We value rondos because it projects a real-life soccer game within a mini scenario. With the goal of improving players' 1v1 attacking ability, 
We can now guide the players to when, where, and why we would use a 1v1 in a game. It's a simple setup where players are now rewarded one point for every pass that they complete and plus 10 points if they can dribble around the defender and across the grid. The defender can switch out with one of their teammates once they win the ball and dribble outside of the grid. Again, to reinforce the 1v1 focus. Okay, so we have four players. Listen, we have four players. What shape should we take up? Diamond, okay? Yellow, you're gonna go defend that way. Uh, don't put it on, just hold the pin in your hand. Caroline, you're gonna come over to this grid. Allison, you're gonna come here, okay? So blue is always gonna come back into this grid and defend. Pink's always gonna go over to that grid. Yellow is always gonna go over to this grid and defend, okay? So the game goes. Every time we're gonna demonstrate here with the first group in the middle. Shannon has the ball, okay? There's four players, there's four lines in a box. Everyone's responsible for their line. We play, go ahead Shannon, just nice and easy. Every time we connect a pass equals plus one. Now, if Maya can dribble across Allison and claim the opposite line that she started on, we're at plus 10, okay? And then what would happen, Maya stay here, Maya dribbles across, what should other players do when the other person dribbles across? Rotate and fill in that gap that Maya just left, okay? Uh, and what's the other most important thing that we're talking about tonight in terms of possession? and playing 1v1, but we're playing to a game, right? So what are we gonna do off the ball? We're gonna communicate. So everyone's counted for their team, all right? Defenders, if Allison wins this ball, Allison wins it, tries to dribble outside the grid. If she does so successfully, she just leaves the ball. She goes back to her grid, which is that way, and she gives her penny to Hannah. So sprint over, give your penny to Hannah, and then Hannah comes into the box, okay? It's gonna be the first team to 100 points wins. Good. Don't force it, keep moving that ball. Good, everyone's counting. Well done, Liz, way to attack the space. Who's the defender over here? Emmy, Emmy, yep, far grid, go ahead. Well done, Liz. When can we go forward? When can we go forward? Remember, it's first team to a hunt. Ava, leave it there and go. Yep. Okay. I took Campbell's spot here for a second. What should we be evaluating when we're trying to go 1v1? Say that again. How much space I have, right? So if Maya has the ball and Haley just go closer to Maya, if I can recognize by not ball watching that there's space there, could Maya play me the ball? Could my first touch be into space? And now I don't even have to think about going 1v1. I'm just thinking about dribbling into space, right? At the same time, many times the balls come from Maya. Maya plays the ball into me. Haley does come, but what do some of you players do? You use what? A feint or a misdirection to sell Haley this way. Haley jumps, and then you go in the other direction and you're walking across the way, right? So let's see if we can use more of that. But in order to do so, we can't be ball watching, right? We have to be watching where the defender is and looking at the space to attack in 1v1, okay? Great job. When we play, okay? When's the one time I probably don't want to look to go 1v1? Louder? When the defender's in the middle. Raise there, back up. I can still go 1v1. When, when what? There's a lot of what on me. Pressure. So when Ray's on top of me like this, I need to evaluate that she's this tight. This is not the time to dribble. Maybe that's the time to pass, right? But I can't do that and I can't evaluate that when I'm watching the ball, right? And my hips are closed one way. I have to be able to be opened hips so that way I can show two options on the ball. Ball, you can play me here. I can pass or the third option is I can dribble, right? So open body shape. Let's try to evaluate if we have time and space. If we have time and space, let's see if we can go 1v1. Good. When can we dribble? When can we pass? Go, Caroline, go. Good. Campbell, well done. First to 150. Go, Lily, go. Emmy, well done, kid. Good stuff. Go ahead, Quinn, take a peek. That's not ball watch, right? Good stuff.
was one of the technical focuses of tonight in the 1v1s. Campbell, change of speed, Maya, body feints and misdirection, Allison, what? Staying low, why? So you can be explosive, okay? So let's see if we can outline those things. Yeah, Maya, you got one more thing to add? Great point, yes. If Gray scores in the pug nets, you get to turn to attack the big net, okay? Molly, you're helping whatever team's defending your net. Are we good? Play soccer, but at the end of the day, let's see if we can try to find some 1v1 opportunities. Take ball, play. Not a bad start. Haley, well done. Can you finish, Quinn? Nice turn, Haley, great turn. Ray, it's great touch out of pressure. Well done. Lily, way to go 1v1. Ball's here. Turn, right? Hit it. Finish. Get in there. Oh, Molly, what a save. Ray, way to go 1v1. Check your shoulder and play. Yellow, you can score. Thank you, Haley. No, nope, it's Molly's ball. Take a peek, Quinn. Take a peek. Love that, Hannah. Well done. It's great stuff, Pink. Way to keep it. Liz, way to go 1v1 there. It's okay. Good finish. Maya, great hit. 3-1. to one. Great ball. Okay, and freeze. So, little tip here, right? Campbell, we scored here. Yes. We get the ball out of this net. And then what? You had your head down. You didn't see where pink was, right? Pink was all on this side. And you attacked the side of that with all the pink ball, right? So, although we want to highlight 1v1, we don't just do it without a cause, right? We do it with reason. So, if I see all pink this way, in the rondo, will we have dribbled this way? Or will we have played out of pressure? So now if I play out of pressure, can I get the ball back, right? Yeah, if we play out of pressure, Kira has now more time and space. Now maybe she dribbles at someone and goes 1v1, right? So although we're looking for the 1v1s, let's still try to A, recognize space, and B, exploit space, okay? Molly, your ball, play. Caroline, turn. Love that, Hannah, well done. Good, hey. 1v1, Hannah? Great stuff. It's a 1v1 opportunity. Well done, Lil. Way to be direct. Ava, read who you should mark right now. Ava, read who you should mark when we lose the ball. We're going to keep the focus on the 1v1 element of the night, right? We had many opportunities with the first group to go 1v1, and we took our opportunity to get some shots off, so pause this from that. Second thing, second group, I'm sorry, uh, went out there. We were playing a little bit more just kind of reserved, right? Just trying to keep the possession of the ball, right? The idea is to go 1v1. The idea is to go forward. The idea is to try to attack, right? So we got to have that little bit of mentality, which I think the second group grew into a little bit better towards the end, all right? But we got to have that urgency right from the start, especially when we're thinking about 1v1 attacking, right? When we're thinking about 1v1 defending, maybe we talk a little different things, okay? But good job tonight. Thank you for being on, on good behavior. Thank you for demonstrating things very well for the, for the rest of the club. Um, and maybe we can do another video next week. Sound good? Okay, good job. Come on in. Scorpions on three. One, two, three. Scorpion! Assy. Good job, girls. You're welcome. You're welcome. Good job.